Oh, guess what? You guys, it's warm in there. It's like you have to way down deep in the middle. Do you see how far I have my arm in there? Here, a hand's width, and it's not warm. But down further in there, it is like, I don't know, mm, a little warmer than body temperature. So not hot, not, like, not uncomfortable. More like if you were cold and you wanted a warm water bottle on you. So, that's good because um, this is my... I'm done with the blood meal, and I'm doing the water today and tomorrow. But as soon as it starts to cool off, I can um, plant everything. So, that's exciting. So that's what I was checking. Now, the other thing is, if any of you know, I think maybe I'm watering my plants too much because look what's here. Can you see the mushrooms? I've got little mushrooms growing, so I don't know. Maybe that's not bad. There's some more. Um, I'm putting in my senior grades. It's the last day for my seniors. Um, yesterday, I went to my room and packed it all up. Each wing of the school had one day to go pick up everything and clean up their rooms. So I did that and I got to see one of my seniors. Hey, good morning, afternoon, David. It's morning, I guess. I just packed up my room yesterday and um, I'm finishing up my senior grades. Um, and I was showing that for the first time it is warm inside the hay bale or the straw bale. So I'm done with blood meal. I did my last one yesterday and now I'm just adding a little bit of water. But if you can see, do you see how dark that is now? Yeah, you got your room already done? It was a weird, like a weird feeling, wasn't it? Usually that's part of the whole ritual. Okay, everybody get your stuff packed up and uh, you know, take your artwork with you. And this was kind of like, well, I just put their labels in their cubbies and left it. So in case they want it next year, they can get it. Um, and then I organized my closet, which always has a ton of crazy stuff in it. And, um, and then, you know, finished up the room. So, yes, it's weird for us. Uh, Dave is an art teacher too. Also high school. But look at this. Like, it is starting to look like dirt. That's some of the blood meal but a lot of it's like the decomposing straw. And I put my hand in the other one and it was warm for the first time, which they say it does. And this one is not really that warm. It's not warm, but the first one was. So who knows? Um, so the straw is, um, David asked, what am I doing with the straw? I um, have a very sandy yard and so I was gonna try to build up a bed to plant, but it would take so much. And then I saw somebody else on Backyard Farmers of Columbia said they were doing straw bale gardening. And so apparently you can plant right in. So right now my plants are sitting on top, but in a couple days, I'm gonna be able to put them inside the bales with no dirt and they'll grow in there. Good morning, Kate. Um, so they'll grow in there and they get all their nutrients from the bale because I've been putting um, blood meal, fertilizer, and water every day and it's slowly um, composting inside the bale. Um, and so it's supposed to last uh, two years. So you can use it this year and next year and then it just becomes part of the ground after that. So, um, I think it is working. It's starting to look like dirt. Yeah, so I already did the blood meal. It's like this whole little process. I'll tell you how it works. I'm, I've been kind of videotaping it every couple of days just to see how it's going. But um, yep, then I just plant these in there. And then also if I want to do seeds, which I probably will, I can take a thin layer of um, soil and put it on the top and then just plant seeds straight in there. 
some people say you can actually just plant like bigger seeds with no dirt so that's what I'm doing I'm just watering it today and then tomorrow if it's not hot I think I'm just gonna plant um, if it is hot inside then I'll wait until Sunday but I should have a little garden going on here this is what it looks like overall let's see if you can see the whole thing I got um, nine bales here and then I have two on the other side of the house which is pretty shady but I thought I'd see if I could grow some plant um, some shade loving things but I haven't even put any blood meal on those yet those are behind by about a week Dave has been doing gardening too it's just the year to do it especially if you're working from home you have um, not necessarily more time but you're closer to your garden so you can keep an eye on it um, that's my main thing usually is by the time I get home from commuting and everything I just don't have the <laughs> The energy or the time to do it so uh, Randall at Gardeners Outpost said he's been busy because lots of people are gardening right now which is pretty awesome we're kind of all going back to the basics so like I said it hasn't been planted yet and I have um, some mushrooms so I have to find out if that means I'm putting too much water in my little pepper is getting bigger every day I don't know. I might make a walkway. I have some extra wood around the yard. I'm gonna. I'm thinking about making like a wooden boardwalk since there's really. I mean, grass just does not grow in my yard. Um, so maybe I can do something else instead. But um, I love you guys. It's nice to see you, and I hope you're having a good day. In South Carolina, it's beautiful. It's not too hot. It's nice and sunny. So my plants and I say have a good day. Bye. Mwah.